The U.S. Supreme Court rejected New Hampshire's complaint Monday without explanation, shutting the door on the state's lawsuit against Massachusetts for collecting income tax from New Hampshire residents who are employed by Massachusetts companies but who have been working remotely due to the pandemic. I was furious. State Rep. Kim Rice says her constituents who live along the border are among the 80,000 Granite Staters impacted by this decision. They worked from home through no fault of their own. The government shut them down. You know, they had to work from home and they're being penalized for it. Rice says New Hampshire residents should not be forced to pay an income tax in Massachusetts if they are not working there. What is income tax for? Just so state can grab money? Because they're not utilizing any services. They're certainly not putting wear and tear on the roads. And I, I just don't understand this. Rice worries about possible ripple effects of the Supreme Court's decision. One of the things that we've learned through COVID that these businesses learned is that they have a lot of productive employees that can now work from home. So how many of these employees are going to stay working from home and still being forced to pay Massachusetts? In a statement to News 9, Governor Sununu says the Supreme Court is setting a costly precedent, adding this decision will have lasting ramifications for thousands of Granite State residents. And we're also hearing from New Hampshire's congressional delegation. All four Democrats criticized the Supreme Court's decision, saying they each will push for more legislation to limit unfair taxing. In the meantime, a spokesperson for Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker's office says the administration appreciates the Supreme Court's decision. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.